Hello everyone, it's me, 2D Josh. Since 3D Josh isn't around today, I'm here to bring you a stop motion tutorial for... Hey guys, it's me, Brick Josh. Uh, wait, well, what? Brick Josh? Since when did you existed? Since the beginning of time. Nah, just kidding. I've been here a long time ago. 3D Josh even made a video of me on one of his stop motions. Actually, I'm on his teen love story series. The hell? I thought I was the only one. Ugh. Anyway, since there are two of us here, this'll be quick. So, let's bring our viewers, or perhaps 3D Josh's viewers, the tutorial they always wanted. Okay, Brick Josh, I'm going to be doing the tutorial and you're going to perform the tutorial. Got it? You are a Lego minifigure, so you are supposed to be the one who's going to be in stop motion, not me. Okay, sure, I'm cool with that. Hey, just for the record, I'm gonna be the leader here, okay? I'm better than you. I was introduced by 3D Josh because I was the one who was supposed to be talking in front of the camera when he's not around. You got that? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Plus, I'm even in better quality than you. I'm in HD. Unlike you, being captured in a camera with only 8 megapixels. Haha. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe you are in HD. But hey, you don't have this mask. What mask? Wait, what? Oh, come on! So the first step in making this walk a uh, minifig, so of course the first frame should be him just standing still. Then the next frame, just gotta move which leg for, for the first step. So for me, I'm going to use the right leg, so of course his left hand has got to be moving forward, and then the right hand going backward. So, move it a little, just he's still in the same position, just lifting up a little the right leg. So that's how it's gonna look like. So you take a picture of that. And then, to the next one, it's going to be, you're going to have to balance it. Because his left leg is going to be backwards, moving backwards. Balance it with the pegs on the base plate. Okay there, just like that. And then on the next frame, his right leg finally stands while his left leg is still backwards. Then if you want you can move a little the hands forward for the left and then backward for the right. Just don't make it move it too much. Then finally, back to just standing still. Then you can put the arms back, leave a little um, distance, I guess, so that you'd see that his left hand came forward and then his right is kept from the back. Then take the frame. Then after that, um, since his right leg was the one who got front, we're gonna go with the left leg now. And then, of course, his left hand is going to move backward this time, and then the right hand is going to move forward. So you take a picture of the next frame, which is that. Then the next frame is just like from earlier, you gotta balance him left leg front, uh, right leg back. Okay. Then the next left leg standing and then the right leg just the back. Just like that. And then the final step is standing still.
now for the running cycle. Um, it's pretty much the same as walking, except it's faster. Well, obviously because he's running. So the first frame is of course just like standing still. And then the next frame, you move him forward to the next peg already. While doing, just like in the walk cycle, this. And then one leg going front. I'm going to use the left leg this time. So just like that. Remember that he, on the first frame he was standing still right here. And then when he lift his leg, he moves already to the next peg. So on the next peg, just like the same as walking, you make him like this, balance it, and exaggerate the, the hands a little more because this time he's running so he's gonna move his hands more forward and more backward than normal. Then also the same as walking, the left leg will be standing and then the one will be backwards. And then once he stands still, he's still going to move forward. So there. He was here and now he's here. Then of course, when he lifts his right leg, the left hand goes forward and then the right hand goes backward. But since it's running, it's still gonna move forward on the next peg. Then do it again, balance. Move the arms. Then And then when he's standing still, still moving forward. So basically what you just gotta remember is when he's running, while you're doing the walk cycle, you just gotta keep moving him forward per frame. And then that's how he runs. Well, I guess that's about it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. This is 2D Josh with Brick Josh. I'm still cooler than you, but yeah. So, please like this video and subscribe for the sake of 3D Josh. Yeah. Bye bye.